So on Monday, it was announced that you guys dropped to the number two spot. Can you talk about how that affects you mentally going into the home stretch of the season? Um, you know, I, I don't think it really affects us. Um, you know, we don't really look to, to see where we're ranked, um, you know, week in, week out. We just kind of show up for practice every day trying to get better. Um, and, you know, look forward to Friday and Saturday nights where, um, you know, we just have to bring our A game each weekend. So over the last eight games, you and your line mates, Chris Kreider and Jimmy Hayes, have been a dynamic group, very dangerous. Um, can you talk about how you guys have clicked and how you have been performing together? Uh, yeah, I think uh, we're doing a lot of the little things right. Um, you know, Chris, Chris and Jimmy are both, you know, really big guys. Um, they use that to, you know, they use their strengths and their abilities and, uh, um, you know, they get the puck in below the goal line and they work hard and, um, you know, I feel like we, we don't try too much. We don't um, try to do anything that's out of our game. You know, we keep it simple and, um, and you know, we, we grind other teams down and, and I feel like that pays off for us and, you know, we've been lucky to score a couple of big goals for our team. So you are the center of the first unit of the power play, um, who's ranked number one in hockey East and seventh in the country. Can you talk about how your effectiveness and what you do to make those power plays so effective? Uh, yeah, you know, I feel uh, our coaching staff has put a lot of trust in me, which is um, a huge honor for me. Um, you know, but I'm on a power play with four other great guys, and you know, I feel my role on the power play is, is you know, to to move the puck to them and um, you know, open up open up passing lanes and shooting lanes for guys like Tommy Cross and Brian Dumoulin and, and you know, Chris Kreider, um, you know, to give them the, the opportunity to score goals and, um, and create chances, you know, so I feel like, um, you know, I'm out there to, you know, get them to puck, get them the puck and uh, let them score goals. So you guys enter two critical series uh, with UMass and UNH. Can you talk about um, how critical those are for setting the postseason play? Um, yeah, it's not even crucial for setting postseason. It's more important for us for, uh, you know, we want to win the reg regular season title. Um, we haven't done that in, you know, five or six years. Um, and, you know, of course, our ultimate goal is to win the national championship. But right now, you know, we'd really like to win the, the regular season title. And, um, you know, by we're not going to look ahead, but by, um, you know, securing four wins in our next four games, you know, I feel like we'd have a pretty good chance of uh, winning the regular season title. Yeah, I was just going to say how much, how important is that because you and H are your last two games and that's huge. Can you just talk about like those two wins are going to be very important. Can you just talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it came down to the, the wire last year with UNH and, you know, we couldn't pull it off. But, you know, this year, you know, we can't look by UMass this weekend, um, you know, but hopefully it will come down to that last game versus UNH. And if, you know, I feel like if we're, we're going into that last game with three wins, then we'll put ourselves in you know, pretty good position to win the, uh, um, the regular season title. Cool. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you very much.